I give honor to Yahweh Bashem Mashiach Yahweh Shai um, on this good day. Um, always want to um, give my allegiance to uh, you know um, to the Ancient of Days uh, and to to His Holy One of Israel, the Messiah. Um, always want to give give my honor uh, that it's due. Um, without Him, I am nothing. Um, also want to say for anybody um, out here that's watching these videos, man, share these videos, uh, make sure that it gets around because this one is going to be a good one today. Um, um, I always want to give honor to um, to the elders that's out here doing the work. Um, the chosen one of Israel. Um, I also want to say um, that um, the house of prayer assemblies is on a rise. Uh, we're about to be doing some uh, things this uh, upcoming year. Uh, things are about to get he he very hectic. So house of prayer assembly, we, we, we have to really rise during, during this time and really um, take this serious now and um, put forth videos and um, go out um, in the highways and the byways to the prisons, to these houses, uh, to the fatherless, to everybody, uh, to the widows and, um, and get this truth out there because there are many antichrists out here right now. There are many uh, Pharisees, uh, Sadducees, uh, there, there are many false doctrines out here. Um, so, you know, we just want to make, make sure that we are feeding the people the correct manna, you know, definitely want to be a follower of, uh, none other than the Hamashiach. Um, it was on my mind heavily to do this video this afternoon. Um, I just feel the Ruach, I feel the Holy Ghost in this, um, and um, it's time to get into it. So today we're talking about what is the baptism of fire and what is the Holy Ghost? Is it a commandment? So let's go ahead and dive into it. My first scripture I'm going to go to here, um, dig up my Bible on this pad. First scripture I'm going to go to, um, Oh, yeah, how it be with us today. Be with us, man. Uh, be with us, Lord, in the name of Yahweh by Shinnah Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless, bless all those that are listening, Lord. Give an ear. Uh, give your ear to those who are uh, listening and really want a word from you. In the name of Yahweh by Shinnah Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. I pray. Hallelujah. Um, we're going to go first start off in Matthew touch my tongue too to be able to uh, give out the word Lord we're going to start at Matthew 3 we're going to start at verse 6 alright Matthew 3 we're going to start at verse 6 now this here is talking about let's start at verse 6 and we're baptized of him in Jordan okay so this, this, this is talking about people who were baptized of John the Baptist in Jordan okay I'm doing this topic because some camps or some members, you know, just Israel period might not believe in baptism uh, or the Ruach. So I'm um, just, you know, going to break it down and get into it. And we're baptized of him in Jordan. They was talk, talk, that's talking about we're baptized of John, John the Baptist, uh, confessing their sins. Now watch this. Let's pay attention to verse seven. is 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 very um, important. People go over this, just probably read it straight through. But we got to see who's who's the talker here. Uh, we got to see when this took took place. Who um, and who are they talking to? All right. Now watch this. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptiz to his baptism, he said unto them, "O generation of vipers." Who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits 
meat for repentance. Okay, what is the fruits and the meat for repentance, right? Uh, verse 9. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. See, so that type of spirit there alone um, shows that um, they think that they just already got the kingdom one. They have Abraham to their uh, father. The promise is given to uh, them. That is it. And that's all. That's that's all they need to rely on. Right. OK. Wrong, though. For I say unto you that God is able to uh, that God is able of these stones to rise up children unto Abraham <clears throat> and now also the axe is laid unto the root of the tree uh, let me hold on let me cut this call off. okay, okay. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Okay, so now we're we're talking about this is our first step. We're talking about the baptism of fire. Okay, now keep this in mind. He said, every tree, <clears throat> this is John speaking here. Every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. All right. Verse 11, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh uh, after me is mightier than I, um, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Okay. Now let's go ahead and read verse 12. Uh, whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly purge his floor. And gather his wheat, his wheat. Now, John is speaking of Yahawashai here. Gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Okay. Now, let's go further. Now, let's go. See. All right. Now, let's go ahead and see what see what this fire is. Let's go ahead and start back over. And let's go and start in the, let's go. I'm sorry. Salakia. So, so Let's start, uh, let's go to Hebrew six real quick. Let's go to Hebrew six. All right. Hebrew six. Uh, We're going to start in uh, Hebrew six and uh, we're we going to start in six through eight. All right. Hebrew six, six through eight. And it reads, if they shall fall away to renew to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they, they crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. For the earth uh, which drinketh in the rain that cometh off un upon it and bringeth forth herbs meat for them by whom it is dressed, receiveth the blessings from God. Now watch this though. See, now this up here in six and seven was talking about uh if you fell away, right? You know, you you uh fell off, right? But you bring but you bring again to renew, you bring again the repentance, right? So you get on your knees, you you uh you uh pray up to, to the heavens, right? And you ask for forgiveness. Uh uh, uh, you you will receive the blessing in the gift, okay? That is inside of you. You will re uh, see see that and be re uh, stored. Now let's watch. Let's let's uh read uh verse verse eight. But that which bears thorns and bearers is rejected. Okay, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Okay, now let's remember we're talking about uh the baptism of fire right now. All right. So now this is talking about the baptism of fire here. All right. Now let's dig in a little deeper onto okay, well, 
uh, it is to be burned. Now, how is it going to come upon the earth? All right. Let's go to Hebrews uh, 10 real quick, 26 through 30. Let's go to Hebrews 10, 26 through 30. All right. Right here. This is this is for the folks who who uh, don't know what the baptism of, of fire is. See, because they put the baptism of fire with the Holy Ghost. But no, that's a separate thing. See, that, that's why in Matthew 13, uh, 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 6, Matthew 13 or, or 6, I believe. He uh, said uh, I'm, uh, uh, that there's one that come after me as mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Okay, so it's either or that we can get get uh, blessed with, right? Well, uh, you can either get blessed or cursed with. All right, twenty Hebrews ten twenty six. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sins. All right. But a certain fearful looking uh, looking for of judgment and fiery indi indignation. That's talking about that. That's talk. That's talking about that. That uh, fire there, man. All right. Which shall devour. The adversaries. Who was the adversaries? Well, the adversaries is anybody who's going against uh, the Most High's laws, man. His commandments, which he commanded us. All right. So anybody who think that they just got it in the bag just because they may do feast days or whatever. This is telling you, hey, if you were if if you sin willfully after receiving the knowledge. All right. There's that fire for you. All right. Uh, verse 28. He that despised Moses law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. All right. Died without mercy. Right. Oh, how much sore punishment suppose ye. Shall he be taught uh, uh, thought worthy? Who have trodden underfoot the son of God and who counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was uh, sanctified. OK, the blood. What is the uh, blood? An unholy thing and have done. Does, uh, uh, wait, wherewith he sanctified. OK, let's start that over. He have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanct sanctified. See, you sanctify through the blood, right? His shedding of the blood on the uh, tree, on the on as they call it, the cross, right? But the tree, all right. So when he shed his 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 uh, blood, see, that's why we are to take of his of uh, 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 what came out, blood and water. What does that represent? That represents the Holy Ghost and the baptism of water. See, so we are supposed to take of him, right? Follow him, right? Now. Wherewith he was sanctified, an unholy thing, and hath done despite unto the Spirit of grace. For we know him that hath said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will uh, recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. Now, so that's talking about, see, he said he's going to judge his people, see? OK, so where's the two thirds fit in that? See, that's the two. That's 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 the two thirds there. See, everybody thinking that it's just these uh Christian knights. Uh, well, Christians in uh, such. No, is everybody in Israel that that everybody that's of Israel that just think that they just got it uh, one just 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 because they know that they're Israel. No, there's a requirement here. OK, for us not to get in this fire. Now let's go to uh Luke 12 real quick at 49 and then we're going to uh go to now next we we're we're going to go to what the Holy Ghost is. Uh, was it a commandment to uh get? Luke 12 49 real quick. Now watch this. I am come to send fire on the earth. 
That's what that baptism of fire is. See, it's one or the other that we're going to get. There's no in between. We're going to get one or the other. I am Luke 12, 49 again. I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? All right. Now. Let me just read 50 for the sake of it, because this is going into my next subject anyway. But I but I. But I have a baptism to be baptized with. And how am I straightened till it be accomplished? So wait. Israel, we, we have to get this right because he said. Let's read 50 again. But I have a baptism to be baptized with. And how am I straightened till it be accomplished? So he has this. So, so this baptism has to be accomplished. What baptism is that? Let's go ahead and jump to uh, my first my first scripture, which I love so much. I always quote it. Let's go to John three and three. Let's see how serious this is. Israel. Yahweh shall answer and said unto him. John 3 and 3. Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you. Let me give you the uh, backstory first. Let me just read it. Let's go up to verse 1. There is a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no, from, Come from Yahweh, for no man can do these miracles that that thou doest, except Yahweh be with him. See how the uh, Pharisees just thought that he was just a man. Yahweh shall answer and say un, unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? See, he thinking fleshly here. He's thinking fleshly. This is what Nicodemus, see, a lot of Pharisees, they can't understand things. That's why even in today's world, they, it, 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 their mind can only comprehend so far. They don't know the uh, the spiritual aspects of which <clears throat> the heavenly realm work in. See? Let's finish reading. Verse 6. That which is born of flesh is flesh. I came out of my mother. I, I, I was only able to come out of her one time. That's flesh. Okay? I cannot enter back into her a second time. I'm a grown man. That 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 will uh uh kill her. It it can't even be done. Verse six again. That which is born of flesh is flesh. I can't go back in. You can't go back in. And no, it's not going to be born. It, no, no, the two thirds won't be born back into the kingdom through somebody else. That's still flesh. That's still flesh. OK, it's not going to happen. And that which is born of spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. All right. Now, let's go ahead and go to Ephesians. See? We can't think, uh, we can't think, uh, 11 to 20. We can't think fleshly here and think that, uh, you know, uh, the only way to be born is either through, um, the uh, two thirds are going to be born through, um, through the kingdom again. 
And that's just going to be that. No. It, it, that's not what he's talking about here. See, there's there's more to the most high than we're thinking. We're thinking on only a carnal level. See, that's why we got to stop. We, we, we have to get out of this carnal mindset. And we have to go into the spirit realm now. See, it's things upon this earth that are about to start taking place. And we need our spirit awoke alive to uh, deal with these things that are coming and facing upon the earth. Now, let's go to uh, Ephesians 2 and 11. Wherefore, now this is talk, talking about when, when Israel fell away, right? How they were made Gentiles, right? Now, this is very critical right here. This is telling you, uh, this, is, this is telling you how, look, ye were strangers, but now uh, I came... Uh, and die so that you so that my spirit can be the, the gift can be brought to you so that you can have salvation. See? Now let's read it. Ephesians 2 and 11. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past, Gentiles in the flesh. We were Gentiles. Why? Because we were serving other gods, uh, giving sacrifices unto other gods, right? All right. Who were called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision and the flesh made by hands. That uh, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, pushed out of Israel. That's how we became aliens from 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 our homeland, Israel, because we were doing uh, things that we wasn't supposed to do in our own land. Right. All right. And strangers from the covenants of promise. How was we strangers? Giving up uh, 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 sacrifices unto idols, serving idols, uh, doing things that we were not commanded to do. See. Uh, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in but now in Christ Jesus, let's say the uh, real one. Now in Hamashiach Yahawashai, ye who sometimes were of uh, uh, were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ, by the blood of Hamashiach. We were uh now now we're we're uh brought back in by the blood. How is that? Let's finish reading. For he is our peace who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of perdition between us. Partition, sorry, excuse, excuse, excuse me. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances for, for to make uh, in himself of twine one man. Of two, one. So making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross. That's why he died and shed his blood for us, okay? To bring us back together and make us one, all right? Um, one cross. Having slain the enmity thereby. Verse 17, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off. How did he how, how did he preach peace? Well, he came, he uh did it. And then he also sent his apostles after after he uh died to go uh out in, out into the world to uh preach preach his gospel still. See? Now and to them that were nigh, 18, for through him. We both have access to one spirit unto the father. Now we have access to the father by through him. But see, we have to get that spirit first. We're not born with it. We, we don't just have it just because we're Israel. Okay. Now. Uh, 18 again. For through him, we both have access 
by one spirit unto the Father. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners. Why we are no more strangers and foreigners? Because now we came into the fullness of him through his baptism and through his spirit, the Holy Ghost. Okay. Now we won't be touched by that lake, of, by, by that fire, by that lake of fire, by that baptism of fire. If we stay uh, in his fullness. All right. Now. But. And now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints, the saints that have already went, went, went on, see, and the household of God and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Yahweh Hamashiach himself being a chief cornerstone. Let's jump down to 20, uh, two. In whom ye also are builded together for an inhabitation of God through through the Spirit. So it has to be through the Spirit. Now let's go ahead and uh let's jump to Acts 2 and 38. Let's jump to Acts 2 and 38. Well, let's just read two uh one through Let's read one through four real, real uh, quick. Um, let's read uh, two uh, Acts two one through four real quick, because I want to see what uh, uh, what is the uh, how do you get it? And and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them clothed in tongues like as a fire, and it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit of God gave them utterance. Now, others will try to say, well, that was a language. Well, watch this. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven there was jews there so how could that be a language when there was jews there don't all the jews when they given the same language hebrew i'm a forebear there on that one because uh i could go down i, I could go to 10 because the these these are uh, well i could read on in from uh, I can read on from six to ten, and it tells you Jews again. Uh, these, it tells you all the nations that were uh, there. So that can't be a language that 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 it was talking about here. It said clothed in tongues. We can also go and see where Hannah. Let's see this. Hold on. Hannah was Hannah was marked because of her tongue. Where uh, Hannah had the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to tell you why. Because they went, they went and uh, he told, well, I'm about to get into that scripture, that uh, scripture next. I'm going to show you something real quick. First Samuel. First uh, Samuel 1. Let's go and see what the whole what the Holy Ghost is. Let's let's well let's see what that tongue is, okay? Let's go to 1 Samuel 1. Let's start at 12. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. This is the mouth, right? Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart. In her heart. Well, mine, really. Her heart, okay? This is just a muscle. Your, your heart right here is the muscle. The heart that the Bible, that the word is talking about is your mind. Your thought process, okay? This is where you speak from, all right? Uh, now Hannah, verse 13. Now Hannah, she spake. In her mouth, 
Only her lips moved. But her voice was not heard. See, she wasn't speaking in a in a language. She was speaking in an unknown tongue uh, to the father. All right. But her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, how long wilt thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. 15. And Hannah answered and said, no, my, my Lord, I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have poured out my soul before the Lord. And let's go back to uh, Acts because this just reminded me of something. Because uh, they also thought. Let's go to 13. No, let's go to 12. Acts 2 and 12. And they were all amazed. And were in doubt, saying one to another, what mean is this? Others mocking said, these men are full of new wine. Didn't Eli think that Hannah was uh, drunk also? All right. But uh, verse 14, but Peter, standing up with the 11, lifted up his voice and said unto them, ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words, for these men, for these are not drunk, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. All right. So everybody think you because you uh, speaking in tongues that you're uh, some type of wine or some use some type of sickle. That's the devil. Or whatever, they just don't know that they are that they are blaspheming the Holy Ghost, man. That's that gift that that came down from from uh uh that came through the Messiah uh, through the Messiah from the Father. That's that gift of the Holy Ghost. That's what the Holy Ghost is. See, now let us go ahead and finish up. Let's um uh I already read that. Let's, uh, uh, oh, no, I didn't. I didn't read this yet. Let's, um, hmm. Acts 2 and 38. 2 and 38 and 39. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yahweh Hamashiach, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. See, it's a gift. Okay. And it's, a, and it's something that comes from the Father. 39. For the promise is unto you, to your children, and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord, as the Lord our God shall call. This is a gift from him. It is only to those who are, are open to receive it. It just told you, if you're not open to it, you're not going to go see the kingdom. I don't care who you think you are. You're not going anywhere. You will be here receiving that uh, baptism of fire because you reject the gift that is from, that is through the Messiah from the Father. Now, I got... Uh, the last scripture. Let me show you that this is a commandment. Let me show you that this is a commandment to get. Let's go to Acts uh, 1. Acts 1. I'm going to start at uh, verse uh, 2. Watch this. This is a commandment. Until the day in which he was taken up, talking about Yahweh. Let's just read verse one just to get it. The former tristis have I made, O Theopolis, of all that Yahweh began both to do and teach, 
until the day in which he was taken up. He's just talking about Yahweh Shai here. After that, he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments, commandments, commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. Let's see what those were. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many inflammable proofs, being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God and, and being assembled together with them, commanded, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. Okay. Commanded them that they should not depart from Jer Jerusalem. That's our, our uh, land. But wait for the uh but wait for the promise of the Father. What was the promise of the Father? That he was gonna send the Holy Ghost. That was the promise of the Father. Which said, which saith, He, ye have heard of me. Verse 5. For John truly baptized with water. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not Many days hence. Now, now, let me just show you uh, where they was at doing it. Because Hannah was in, she's from Samaria. See? Jerusalem, Judea, Sam Samaria was our uh that's where we was um that's where our our uh 12 uh tribe tribes were now watch this verse 8 but ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost has come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the utmost part of the earth didn't we just read about Hannah all praises, man, to the most high, man. All praises to them to, to, to the most high. That is a commandment, man, given to him that we receive, be baptized with water and receive the Holy Ghost, man, the Ruach, Hashkodash, man. We have to receive that in order to even uh think about getting into the kingdom. And then after that, man, we got to do our brothers right, man. We have to love one another. See, what without the Holy Ghost, you're not going to know what love is. See, he commanded, man, I got scriptures where he commanded um uh folks after they received it, they uh sold all their goods, man. And and then they uh uh they um they uh distributed out to who needed it amongst them. See, that's what Israel's supposed to be doing. With that, I'm gonna say shot uh shalawam, man, to all the um to all the tribes of Israel, man, to the chosen, man. Uh uh, I will be back with more. Uh uh House of Prayer Assembly is on a rise, man. We about to come out, get this truth out here, and uh stop playing. It's time to shed this light on the world, the world of Israel, man. We gonna rise in, in in these last perilous days, and it's time to to uh, rise as a true nation, man. It's time to really show our light unto the world. I'm not playing with Pharisees, Sadducees. I'm not playing with OTs. I'm not playing. Look, I am for the gospel of the Hamashiach, man. That's who I'm for, and that's who I'm riding for. And I'm gonna say shalom, shalom.